Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Nadia and this is the place where we get real. And today I'm getting real about how to orgasm because having an orgasm is a skill. It's something that we need to learn how to do. It doesn't come naturally for all of us. Come naturally pun intended. So I'm here to share some hacks with you to help you get to the big O. So if that sounds good to you, make sure you keep on watching. Welcome back to my channel. Are you serious with me? Oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> I don't understand how these things always happen to me. Now, first things first, if you are not sure what an orgasm is, what an orgasm should feel like, how to actually know if you've even had an orgasm in the first place, then I would highly recommend before you continue watching this video, you go and watch my video on what an orgasm feels like, which describes exactly how you can know if you've had one. So I will link that up here for those of you that haven't seen that yet. But for the rest of you, I am going to share some of my absolute foolproof tips for getting yourself to climax. So with no further ado, let's get straight into hack number one. If you're a woman who has difficulty getting to orgasm or just even difficulty enjoying sex, then the most critical and fundamental thing that you can possibly do for yourself is to practice solo sex or masturbation. If you are the partner of a woman right now watching this and you know that your female partner has difficulty getting to orgasm, then encourage her to have sex that doesn't involve you. Having sex on your own as a woman, masturbating and touching yourself, which by the way, if you need tips on how to masturbate as well, I do have a video on that, so I'll link that one up here. But it is so incredibly important because it is how we familiarize ourselves with our bodies as women and we learn what feels good and what doesn't feel good and we get used to finding those different little hot spots that turn us on, finding where our G-spot is, finding where our clitoris is. The clitoris has around 8,000 nerve endings in it. You guys, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you probably already know this fact because I rattle on about it so much. 8,000 nerve endings, 8,000 nerve endings in it. Eight thousand nerve endings in it eight thousand nerve endings in it so many nerve endings down there and the reason i rattle on about it so much is because it's so important for getting women to orgasm research shows that roughly two-thirds of women require direct sustained clitoral stimulation in order to reach orgasm most women will not reach orgasm through having standard penetrative sex because that's not where their hotspot is. Their hotspot is on their clitoris and the clitoris is not typically stimulated during regular penetrative sex unless you or your partner are actively touching it with your hand or a vibrator. So take the time first to practice solo sex and get to know your body. Find your clitoris, find what pressure feels good, whether that's circular motions or whether that's stroking back and forth. Like I said, if you need some tips on how to do that, how to work out different speeds, pressures, all of that, that is in that video that I made on masturbation. So make sure you go and check that out. But dedicate time to getting to know your own body and getting to know what feels good for you when you don't have a partner around. Because when you don't have a partner around, you're gonna get out of your own head. You're not gonna feel pressured. You're not gonna feel worried that you're taking too long to get to orgasm because orgasm anxiety is a real thing that women experience. I myself suffer from orgasm anxiety. I freak out when I'm having sex with a partner that it is taking me too long to get to climax. And what do you know when you start freaking out and stressing out during sex, you ruin your ability to get to climax altogether. So that's why you need to train yourself to get to climax on your own before you do it with a partner. Masturbate, masturbate, masturbate. There will never be a day that I talk about female pleasure where I do not bring up lube. I don't think there is a bigger advocate on the face of this planet for lube than me. Wetter is better, that saying exists for a reason. Lubrication is absolutely key 
to achieving orgasm if you are a woman. Without lubrication, it's basically impossible to get yourself to climax. And a lot of women can feel turned on, they can feel very horny, and they're just not getting wet enough. And that's for a whole reason of factors, things like if you're on certain types of medication like the birth control, antidepressants, if you've recently been ill or stressed, all of those things, menopause, the aging process, all of those things can contribute to making it so that it's harder for you to get lubricated. Also, if you just don't have a very healthy diet, that can also affect your body's ability to get lubricated. Adding personal lubricant into the mix is going to make everything feel more comfortable, which is going to heighten all of the sensations you're feeling around your clitoris, which is the key to getting most women to orgasm, and that is going to make it easier for you to reach the big O. I honestly struggle so much to get myself to orgasm if I am not using personal lubricant. It is absolutely critical for me and it is something that I never ever miss out. I keep some in my bedside drawer and I also even keep little travel size sachets just in my handbag if I'm going out. Who knows if the mood is going to strike, I've got lube there ready to go. Now the lube that I personally use and the one that I would recommend checking out is Astroglide. Big fan of Astroglide, big long time user. I like this one in particular. This is their X Premium Silicon Gel. It's really good because it's condom compatible, so you can use this with a partner. Not all lubricants are condom compatible. Please keep that in mind when you are selecting a lube to use during sex with your partner. Make sure you're checking the label first and making sure that it is safe with condoms. This baby is very safe with condoms and it's also great to use when you are masturbating. Silicon-based personal lubricant tends to be a bit longer lasting, so you can put a small amount on and it goes a long way and you don't have to keep constantly reapplying it because sometimes if you're constantly reapplying lube, that can sort of get you out of your game. So it's really good for first time users that are new to lube and you don't want to have to keep reaching for the bottle. A silicon based lubricant is good for that. And it just also feels smooth and silky to the touch. So it's a really nice, comfortable lube to use. I will put the link to Astroglide's Premium X Silicon Gel down in the description below so you can go ahead and check it out. It's not actually possible to get to orgasm if your body and your mind aren't relaxed. This is particularly so for women. I've talked before in my videos about something called the brain vagina loop and basically research that shows that the brain is so interconnected to our vaginas. If we are mentally stressed, our vaginas will not relax enough in order to allow us to reach orgasm. So the best thing you can do before you have sex, whether that's sex on your own or sex with a partner, is to get yourself super relaxed. Try taking a bubble bath, try doing something de-stressing, have your partner give you a massage. Massage can be such a wonderful, sexy and de-stressing activity and it's a great way to move into sex because it's already quite sensual and connected with your partner. Dim the lighting because dim lighting can also help to relax you and even put on some sexy music. Music can be such a game changer for getting yourself in the mood and getting your body to relax. Something that's not talked about nearly enough when we talk about orgasm for women and particularly when we're talking about women who have difficulty getting to orgasm is blood flow. Blood flow to your genitals is actually key in order to hitting the big O because basically what happens before a woman orgasms is that the clitoris will fill with blood and it will become swollen and engorged and right before you have an orgasm your clitoris is very full and swollen with blood. So if you don't have adequate blood flow going down to your genitals and down into your clitoris then getting to orgasm is going to actually just be impossible. And something which can impair a woman's blood flow to her genitals is actually antidepressant medication. It can really dull genital sensitivity and make it really difficult for women to reach orgasm. Most women who are on antidepressant medication will struggle with getting to orgasm. And unfortunately, this is often something doctors don't even bother to mention when they prescribe us this medication. I've spoken on this channel before about the fact that I was on a form of antidepressant medication 
medication for a couple of years and I really struggled to get to orgasm until I learned about this. The good news is once you are aware of this, there are things you can do to hack your body and to get that blood flow going back down to your genitals and specifically going into your clitoris. One of the most effective ways to encourage blood flow back into the clitoris and help you get that sensitivity so that you can get yourself to orgasm is by using a clitoral vibrator. And the reason this is so effective is because vibration helps to increase blood flow. If you've ever used one of those massage guns on your back, the ones that vibrate around, you know they feel so good. And one of the reasons they feel so good is because all of those vibrations draw blood into the muscle and help the muscle to heal and repair. The same is true for your vulva. If you have vibrations using a clitoral vibrator down on your clitoris, that is going to draw blood into the clitoris. And as the clitoris fills with more blood, it's going to become more sensitive, which means everything is going to feel better and it's going to be much easier for you to get to orgasm. Just make sure that if you are using a vibrator or a sex toy, you apply a small amount of personal lubricant first. That's going to make it more comfortable for you to use and it's going to also help you to avoid any kind of uncomfortable friction when you get those vibrations going. Hopefully these tips are going to help you reach the big O, but if you are still struggling to get to climax after putting these into practice, please know that having an orgasm is not the be all and end all. And it's my belief we make sex way too goal orientated. By focusing so much around climax, we forget to actually stop and enjoy all the other amazing pleasurable parts of sex. Sex can be a lot of fun when it doesn't include an orgasm at all. So really take time to just enjoy feeling connected with your own body or feeling more connected with your partner and just having fun along the way because that's what sex is really all about. Now, if you enjoyed this video and you'd like more videos on orgasm and orgasm hacks, then give it a thumbs up because that lets me know you want more of this kind of content. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new here or if you've been watching my videos for a while and you haven't joined my sex positive family, make today the day you do it. And I will see you all in the next video. Mwah.